13 years after the Dangriga Cancer Treatment Center was opened to treat patients, its Belize City branch was opened today. Medical Director of the facility, Dr. Ellsworth Grant, told News 5 that there was an urgent need for a center that is more centrally located. A majority of the patients are from the city and from up north, and so having a center in the city will help to serve the needs of uh, the patients in the city as well as from those up north a lot better, making care more, a lot more accessible to them in terms of, principally in terms of travel. Um, if you have to come from, from up north, that's an all-day journey, whereas if here in the city, you cut your travel time. CEO of the facility, Delon Pascasio, says once you get that bad news, you can seek their help. Anyone can come here. As, as our sign says over there, everyone is welcome. Uh, whether we, we see individuals with, uh, on our side, which is the treatment side, with a confirmed diagnosis of cancer. Uh, but this facility is, is actually in partnership with the Belize Cancer Society, and their piece of it is more the education, the awareness, the linking of support, and the navigation of individuals who need to get somewhere. The information is gathered. Mm -hmm. uh, as part of the referral package and the clinical information is sent to Dr. Grant and that's sent electronically. He will respond to that information within three to five days uh, unless there are additional uh, testing that he wants done. Once he has looked at all of it, then he sends a treatment plan. The nurse who is here contacts the patient and say, we have a treatment plan for you. Could you come in and talk to us? One of the persons you will likely meet is Nurse Pauline Okolo, who is really the one who will walk with you every step of the way. Focus, try be as, you know, as calm as possible as, as the nurse to be able to counsel these patients, you know, this cancer patient. So um, it's not easy, but we do it to the best of our ability. While the facility will not offer radiation therapy, for complex types of cancer like brain cancer, it will cater to people who are suffering from almost any other type of cancer. This facility will offer consultation services as well as chemotherapy services. And the it, chemotherapy to treat uh, lung cancer, breast cancer, colon cancer, some of the lymphomas. I, I should not forget our, our pediatric patients who, in Dangriga, we have been doing, uh, collaborating with uh, Dr. Gonzalez in Merida to provide care for those kids. But again, having something closer to them in the city will improve their life, their quality of life as well. And we hope to continue to improve on their survival from, from leukemias. Cervical cancer, uh, chemotherapy for cervical cancer, colon cancer, prostate. lymphomas, prostate cancer treatments could all be done right here in the city. The level of treatment for these types of diseases are usually accompanied by steep medical bills, but the treatment for people who cannot afford the cost can be subsidized by donors. Those who can pay will be asked to. Reporting for News 5, I'm Marion Ali.